Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron here with you once again. And today we're gonna to look at ink. We're gonna look at doing some different experiments with ink. We're gonna look at having just some real fun with ink and coming up with some different effects. All right, so my best word of advice is ink is permanent. Get some old work clothes on, not something that you value, something that you're okay with destroying. All of the stuff that I have clothes that I've ever destroyed, ink has been involved in them. All right, so let's get at it. Okay, so I had to come up with some subject matter for um, this little experiment. So I decided I was gonna use this um, little barn scene, which is right down the road from my house. Um, I paint it quite often. This is uh, watercolor and the black lines are Sharpie pen. This one here is just Sharpie pen with a little bit of ink wash on it. Uh, same scene done in graphite. Um, slightly different angle, also done with graphite. Uh, this is a piece of expressionism, so it's the same scene, just done in expressionism. And all these, all these are on my um, YouTube channel. They're listed under the playlist um, barn series, so you can see these all being done. This is the same thing done as a piece of fauvism. Lots of wild, crazy colors. And then this was the last one that I did in the series, just really quickly laying down the lines of the... Uh, of the fields, the tree line in the background, and where the buildings were, and then quick watercolor over top of it. This is probably my favorite one, probably because it only took me three minutes. So I decided I was gonna do, I was gonna do this on a larger piece for today's experiment. So I just transcribed um, some of that onto here, just in graphite. All right, so what you're gonna need today is, you're gonna need a bucket with some water, you're gonna need, um, I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do some with a stick. This is just a regular stick from out in my yard. Any watercolor brushes will do. And you're gonna need some ink. So I have here Bombay Ink and Higgins Ink, both good companies. Um, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I keep my ink in a plastic bag like this, ziplocked up all the time. And I buy ink in big containers like this also always in a Ziploc bag. Um, all the worst, all the worst, messiest um, clean, up, clean up I've ever had to do was all because of ink. Ink will destroy a lot of stuff. So other than those normal sort of watercolor tools and a stick and some water, uh, get yourself some ink. I'm gonna get out this Bombay ink to start with. Um, but on top of that, I have some, I was uh, just a normal spray bottle that I got from the dollar store. And this has one teaspoon of salt in it uh, with a little bit of water. I also have another one. This one just has water in it. You'll see I have a W on it. This one I have a S on it, kind of a crappy kind of an S, but an S none the least. And this one, this third one is alcohol. So this is just regular rubbing alcohol that you would get from, you know, Walmart or wherever. Um, and this has some pretty cool effects in it. But we're gonna start with just regular water. So what I wanna do is I wanna do um, each one of these fields or backgrounds in a slightly different manner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna work on uh, this field right here. And I'm just gonna wet it. So just get a big, just get a big uh, watercolor brush and we're just gonna wet this, this whole area right here. All right, just wet it. Really wet though, not, not like damp, but like a lot of water on it, okay? Hopefully you can see that on camera, but it's, it's got quite a bit of water on it. And then I'm going to take my ink here and I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of this ink out onto this lid. This is just a lid from, uh, you know, any kind of a cottage cheese or cream cheese or whatever it might be. All right, just squirt a little bit of that out onto this. You only need a few drops, so a very few drops will do you, okay? And then I'm gonna take a brush, so this is a small number four round watercolor brush. I'm gonna get it wet, and then I'm gonna pick up some ink. And what you're going to see is the ink is going to spread across this water really quickly. See that? One, I touched it one time. You never get that kind of a reaction from watercolor. 
And I'll do it again here. See how quickly that was? Like I'm amazed every time I do it, I'm, st I'm still amazed. All right, see, it uh, gives you this beautiful kind of an effect. So what this, what's happening is ink, um, drawing ink especially, is shellac based. And shellac is like an oil. And so what's happening is that oil is just being carried across the top of that water. And it's giving you all those kinds of just, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy kind of effects. But if you want that to spread a little bit more, like this is a little bit heavy handed here maybe as compared to the rest of it. So you can just get a little bit of water on your brush and uh, do that to it. Just tap it in there. And you'll see it'll spread very, very easily. And you can even maneuver it around so you can take it and, you know, just slide it around if you want to. Again, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more water here. Put a little bit more water into that so it's not quite as black as that. And get that to spray it around. But you'll see the, the effect of you know, those sort of little explosions that happen from the ink. I just find it to be super cool. All right, so you know I've touched the page there about four or five times. I'm gonna put in some of these lines and I'm just gonna use a stick. So this is just a regular stick. I'm gonna to try to not touch it into any of this, but I'm just gonna pick up, just take my stick and just do some lines, just a regular old stick. And remember, this is experiment, so you should be trying to have some fun with it. All right, just like that. You know, the stick doesn't hold very much ink, so you have to understand that you're not gonna be able to draw very far with it. Okay. Uh, see, the stick kinda of gives you, it, it gives you quite a bit of control, like as if you were drawing, but it gives you a different kind of a line. It's almost like drawing with a calligraphy pen. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for now to dry, and then when we come back, we'll um, look at doing some different stuff in some other spots of this. Um, so right now, uh, don't leave your watercolor brushes soaking in your water. You need to take them out, dry them off like you normally would, rinse your little stick off, and uh, yeah, take a break for a few minutes, and then when this is completely dry, we'll come back and have another look at it. Okay, so I waited for a few minutes and um, I sopped up some of the ink along here with a piece of tissue just to speed things up and I took my hair dryer to it to, uh, you know, just speed it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna work on right now is I'm gonna work on um, the sky back in here and I'm gonna use some salt on that and maybe we'll use some other things on it. But the first thing that I'm going to suggest that you do is get a fairly big watercolor brush and uh, we're gonna wet this entire area. All right, so just really quickly use quite a bit of water on here. You know, wet the whole thing really well like that. Okay, like this. Just get the whole area, you know, sopping wet. We want it really, really, really wet. Okay, so I think we're gonna use some salt on this, and salt does a couple of really neat things to, um, to watercolor and to ink. This salt here, oh, I just dropped it all over the place, but this salt here is, this is road salt. So this is just regular, you know, chunky salt that we would use on our driveway. I'm sure there's lots of people in the world thinking, you put salt on your driveway. Yeah, we put salt on ice, so it sort of uh, melts the ice or loosens up the ice a little bit. Anyways, I'm just gonna knock that off to the side for now. A Couple of more chunks in there, we'll just pick them out. Anyways, we're gonna drop some salt onto this. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some water, and I'm gonna pick up some of this ink, and I'm going to put this across the top of this page like this, and I'm just gonna get that ink to all run 
down across the bottom. So I'll move it around a little bit with my hands. I'll just get the ink to flow around. And because this is watercolor paper, remember with watercolor paper, it's only going to go where it's wet. Okay, so I'll move the water all back down here to this side. That's the magic of watercolor paper. Your ink or your watercolor paint will only go into the areas that are wet, so it won't leave the page anywhere else. So that's a pretty cool looking sky right there, just like that. So I wonder what's gonna happen. So I want this to sort of be tilted up like that. I like the way this is sort of running down there. I'm gonna throw some salt onto here, just in some different places, like that. And then I'm gonna get some more salt here, right? And I'm just gonna sort of drop it around there wherever it wants to go you can use table salt you can use pickling salt there's all kinds of um, you know different salt in the world that you can use and we're just going to leave it like that all right so let's leave it for a few minutes and come back don't move this around now so i'm going to sop up some of this water to speed this up a little bit. So I'm just taking a tissue and I'm just twisting it into a point like that. And I'm gonna put this into the liquid, the ink and the water that's still on there. And you'll see it'll sop it up really quickly. You can do the same thing with watercolor. Uh, you can put it in there and just sort of take out, you know, I, I'm making a video here. So uh, if, if this was a real work that I was, you know, deeply concerned about, I might not do this. I might just leave it till the next day and come back. But let's face it, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to show you how to do this. All right, so I took my hairdryer to that for probably about um, a good couple of minutes. And so you'll see, you can now take all, all of this um, salt will be fairly, loose on here if it's completely dry and you can hear it it's kind of a little uh crunchy but just rub it with your finger very very uh, not very hard just hard enough to loosen the salt off there all right don't push too hard on it you'll screw up the paper all right and then take a garbage can and uh just dump it into the garbage can like that and there you go. All right, so yeah, you see it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty cool effect. That's like a million little stars on there. It's kind of neat. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at some alcohol. And I'm going to put some alcohol on these, uh, these areas down here. I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to get it a little bit wet. Just a little bit wet. And I'm going to put some water there and a little bit of water here okay so this is not very wet it's actually you can see it sort of it's a it's a little bit wet but it's not soaking wet like i had it before um, i'm going to take this brush rinse it off a little bit knock most of the water off it pick up a little bit of ink here and i'm just going to just put it in like this real quick long lines a little bit more here uh, but fairly fast moving like that okay and then grab your alcohol in your squirt bottle and just give it a little squirt i'm going to squirt it going in this direction so i don't get it on myself i'm going to do the same here all right and we're going to let that just sit for a couple of minutes it won't make any difference if you get the alcohol um, up onto any of these other spots, other than it may have some dots on here that the alcohol might um, sort of uh, come back to life if you get that wet a little bit. But you can see what happened there. It's almost instantly dry. Like the alcohol just evaporates so quickly that it instantly sort of dries it into that 
whatever it was that you had on there almost instantly dries. And that's what I find fascinating about ink is that with, with alcohol, I mean, think of it, if this is just rubbing alcohol and it does this to this. I mean, it's, it, to me, it's, it's sort of unbelievable. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet all of this in the background here where we're going to put this tree line and again i'm not going to make it soaking wet i'm going to make it you know it's wet but it's not can you see what hot what's happening there that's a little bit of that alcohol is uh, still on that page but that's okay maybe that's going to give us another kind of a neat kind of an effect remember this is just an experiment don't get uh you know don't get too caught up in you know whether it turns out to be a masterpiece or not and i think I've been trying lately, you know, to get my students out of this idea that every work of art is going to be a masterpiece. It's not. Sometimes it's just going to be like this, where we're just trying to have a little bit of, we're have, trying to have a little bit of fun with uh, doing some art. I'm going to put a little bit of water into this this time. I'm going to make this into a thinner kind of a wash. And I'm just going to just touch my brush into these areas like this. All right, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Some we're getting some ink on there, but we're not getting you know tons of ink on there. Move it around to wherever it is that you want it to go to, and then um, we're gonna let this dry up a little wee bit. Or you can take your hair dryer to it and just give it a little, a little bit of a dry. All right, so I just wanted to take a little bit of the water out of there. I got a little bit too much water on it for what it was that I was hoping to do, so. I sucked a little bit of the water out with this tissue. And again, you can just put it on there and take out, you know, however much you want. Um, or um, you can put the hair dryer on. I happen to do both that particular time. So this is my salt water that's in my spray bottle. And I'm just going to stir this around because, you know, the salt will settle into the bottom. Give it a little stir around. And then we're just going to get it spraying a little bit. And then we're just going to spray a little bit of it on there like that. And we're just going to walk away, all right? Don't, don't try to make it pretty or anything. Just walk away, let it dry up, and then we'll come back and have a look at it in a couple of minutes again. All right, so this is what it would look like matted. I think it turned out pretty much the way that I was thinking about it. So it's, to me, it's a great experiment that turned out. But what I really want you to get from this video is that it's okay to experiment. It's okay to try things. If this goes wrong, I learned something from it. And just think of it like that. It, there's no such thing as, oh, it didn't turn out. I always think if it didn't turn out, if it's not what it was that you thought it was going to be, what did you learn from it? Maybe you learned something to do. Maybe you learned what not to do. Learning what not to do is just as important about learning what you can do, all right? So in this video, we used alcohol, we used salt, and we used just plain old water with some ink. We used just regular tools and uh, well we used one stick which isn't a regular tool but it should probably be I have lots of sticks that I use for ink um, so I really hope that you learned something from this video if you did learn something from this video please give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and if you're currently a subscriber thanks a lot for being a subscriber if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel I thank you very much and I'll look for you next time